Every 10 years, a black hole passes through the solar system, also passing the Earth. Why we have not noticed this before is simply due to the special nature of these black holes. Unlike the giants in the centers of galaxies, these black holes eat stars. And they don't tear up planets either. Rather, primordial black holes could even be something like elementary structures of the universe. It sounds crazy, but black holes are constantly flying through the solar system and possibly even right through us, and we don't even notice them? But how is that possible? Scientists claim that tiny black holes have been flying through space since the beginning of creation and are present almost everywhere, here on Earth, between planets, between stars and galaxies. Only, these black holes are so tiny that we have overlooked them so far. Primordial black holes are no larger than an atom, so we could never see them with our own eyes. Even scientists can't really see them with their best microscopes, but only study their presumed effects. An atom weighing an asteroid? What happens now when a tiny black hole passes the Earth? In theory, these black holes are so small and so compact that they do not directly affect most matter particles in their environment. Despite their tiny size, these black holes have an extremely high density and thus exert a comparatively strong gravity for their size. One of these mini holes can reach the mass of an asteroid, and these chunks quickly weigh several hundred kilos or even tons. Despite their weight, scientists agree that primordial black holes can pass through the Earth without causing significant damage. The theory is that, due to their small size, they are very unlikely to interact with normal matter. However, a black hole passing through the Earth would not be without effect. The black hole would cause a very small local change in gravity. Despite the weight, this would be so tiny that it would hardly be measurable. Due to its small size and the extremely low probability of direct interaction with atomic nuclei or other matter particles, the black hole would pass through the Earth without swallowing up any matter. However, theories suggest that these mini black holes do not exist by chance and that they may play a role that has been underestimated so far. Primordial black holes are thought to have formed shortly after the Big Bang when extreme density fluctuations occurred in the chaotic, dense early phase of the universe. Some scientists suspect that these primordial black holes could be a part of dark matter. If this assumption is correct, then they would be an important component of the universe. After all, dark matter is thought to make up around 87% of the currently known universe. Presumable traces of the black holes would be minimal disturbances in the density distribution of the Earth or tiny movements in the continents. This raises the question of whether these effects are in fact not disturbances at all, but rather an important part of the functionality of matter. The dynamics of dark matter are still not fully understood today. We basically don't even know for sure that it really exists. Scientists use dark matter to explain effects and dynamics within the universe that cannot be explained by provable means or forms of matter. If the assumption of mini black holes traveling through the universe is correct, they would provide us with an important clue as to whether dark matter really exists. Scientists hope to soon be able to prove the existence of primordial black holes in our solar system and near the Earth using extremely precise measuring instruments. If they succeed, we would have the first direct proof of the existence of dark matter. As a result, our astrophysics would be a great deal further along. At the moment, our entire cosmology is being put to the test, and some scientists suspect that dark matter could be to blame for errors. If it doesn't really exist, our cosmology has been based on a false assumption since the 1970s. But if the small black holes now confirm that dark matter really exists, scientists can be sure that not all of their old theories and ideas were wrong. What damage do black holes really do on Earth? We are dealing with an unpleasant fact. Our science proves to us again and again that it does not know everything and we have to face the fact that science can also deceive us. The mere fact that the phenomenon of small black holes is very difficult to prove makes any statements about their real effect on Earth pure speculation. Some researchers assume that primordial black holes are a rarity. They reassure us by stating that the probability of such a black hole directly hitting 
or passing through the Earth is extremely low. As an explanation, space is said to be huge, and in comparison, tiny black holes are said to be rare and scarce. Other scientists, however, assume that the tiny creatures could occur far more often and are even an essential component of the universe. Some studies do not rule out theoretical risks. Should such a black hole pass very slowly through the Earth, it could possibly draw up matter in its immediate vicinity and thus contribute to an uncertainty in the stability of the Earth's matter. Critics of the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva repeatedly claim that black holes are being created there. This may be done intentionally, but it's also possible that black holes arise as a side effect of the experiments. In the world's largest particle accelerator, scientists shoot tiny particles of matter at each other at high speeds. When they collide, the matter disintegrates into its component parts. Scientists want to study the nature of the subatomic components of matter through the behavior and the forces that arise. These particles are not really visible. Researchers only see their effects, and that could be the danger. During the tests, which shake the matrix of matter, forces could be released that we do not yet know, cannot measure, but which could have an effect on visible matter, just like many black holes. People in Geneva are supposedly playing God, and critics claim that the tests have long since created dimensional portals, or that black holes created on the side are changing the fate of the Earth without us even realizing it. In the same way, the tiny black holes could play a role in the overall structure of matter and creation that we have so far underestimated. Primordial Black Holes and Their Origin It is currently believed that tiny black holes pass through the solar system about once every 10 years, although they supposedly cause no noticeable effects or at least no visible destruction. Their gravity is said to be strong enough to cause minimal changes in the orbits of planets or other objects. Since they emit no radiation, these black holes are invisible and can only be detected through their gravitational effects. One possible detection could be via tiny wobbles in the orbit of Mars. These minimal fluctuations are monitored by high-precision measuring instruments. Thanks to advanced technology, such as Mars rovers and orbital measuring devices, scientists have been able to measure even small changes of a few centimeters over years. Studying such objects could provide insights into the conditions of the early universe and expand our understanding of gravity and matter. If these black holes were already present 13 billion years ago or more, they are witnesses to an invaluable path. Should it turn out that they follow a pattern or a specific function, these primordial black holes would be another key to understanding the blueprint of the universe. Despite the latest studies, doubts remain as to whether the theory of small black holes can really hold up. The effects, such as the waves or fluctuations in the Martian orbit, are extremely small which requires a high degree of precision in the measurement. And the effects could also be triggered by something else. The hunt for the existence of wormholes. Wormholes are an exciting aspect that is closely linked to the theory of primordial black holes. Theoretical physics describes wormholes as hypothetical connections between two different points in space or even in time. These funnel-like systems could make it possible to cover vast cosmic distances in seconds. We know the concept from science fiction movies, but few people know that even recognized science proclaims that wormholes really exist. Some scientists now suspect that the extremely small primordial black holes could be a kind of germ cell for wormholes. The idea is both crazy and fascinating at the same time. It's based on the fact that space-time around black holes is extremely distorted, which may create the conditions for a stable wormhole to form. If such structures exist, they could not only completely change our picture of the universe, but also explain how matter and energy are transferred between distant regions of the cosmos. If we imagine that such wormholes exist not only in distant galaxies, but also directly in our solar system, the idea takes on a whole new dimension. Imagine that primordial black holes, which regularly pass through our Earth, are in fact tiny wormholes. Then there would be direct contact with other regions of the universe, or even in parallel times and worlds right in our environment. Although this idea is currently still officially treated as pure speculation, 
scientists are actually actively looking for signs of such exotic phenomena. One hope comes from gravitational waves, which could provide clues as to whether intermediate black holes show serious evidence of a wormhole in their structures. Subtle differences in the signatures of the waves produced by events such as black hole mergers could reveal the presence of dimensional and time gates. Even Albert Einstein thought that wormholes were possible. His research in the 1930s, combined with that of Nathan Rosen, led to the idea of the Einstein-Rosen Bridge. This is a mathematically verifiable tunnel that could theoretically connect two distant points in the universe directly. The real proof of wormholes would not only be a groundbreaking scientific discovery. As for practical applications, you can imagine advances in the exploration of the universe. Wormholes may offer us contacts in other realities, and some hope that research will lead to advances in the development of travel through space. Spaceships could use wormholes or folds in space-time to overcome the dimensions of time and space and take us humans far beyond the boundaries of the solar system in a way never imagined. Subscribe to the channel now. The best videos are yet to come.